A quick announcement, my website betrefs.gg now has a free case. You can open this case once every 24 hours and it is completely free. Basically, I'm just telling you I'm giving away money. So go ahead and check out the website. The link will be in the description. Thank you. Today, we're going to be taking a look at PUBG's $1 billion inventory that got banned. $1 billion, that is right. There's over 946,000 PUBG skins that got banned. Actually, some time ago already, but I wanted to cover this in a video. And today, we're going to be looking at the skins. And I'm going to tell you guys some information about it. So, in 2016, July 30th, the game was initially released. It was nothing special yet, and there were no skins introduced into the game yet. It was just a simple battle royale shooter where you drop into a arena or a map with 100 people, and there would only be one winner. From September 2017 until May 2018, the game was the most popular game played on Steam, with over 1 million players every single day. Before September 2017, when this spike started happening and the game started being the most played game on Steam, there was an event called the Gamescom Invitational. The Gamescom Invitational Tournament ran from August 23rd until August 26th in 2017. This is also when the first case in PUBG was released, known as the Gamescom Invitational Crate. In this PUBG crate, you were able to open up items such as bandanas, jackets, shoes, and overall generic cosmetics for your character. How you would be able to get those crates is by playing the game and earning a currency in-game called Battle Points, aka BP, and you would be able to buy some crates for this BP you would earn. Then you would be able to sell these crates on the Steam community market, and at one point these crates were actually selling for seven to eight dollars on the market. The CSGO trade lock is very important to mention talking about PUBG items, as CSGO traders wanted to use another currency on the Steam market to trade instantly, because at one point Valve took action against CSGO gambling sites and they decided to ban CSGO trading. Well, they didn't really ban it, but they put a 7 day trade hold on items when you would receive them. Therefore, CSGO traders found another item that they could trade, and those items were PUBG items because they were instantly tradable and they had a pretty decent stable market value. This CSGO ban obviously spiked the market for PUBG items. And it also rang about a valve that CSGO traders found another way to instantly trade items. And most of these items were also being used for PUBG gambling sites, which obviously was something that Valve was trying to prevent. That is a little pre-story to why these items got banned. But let's talk about the player unknown set, which was one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive item in PUBG. This is a set that contained a bandana, trench coat, shirt, pants, and boots. And you were only able to obtain this player unknown set upon pre-ordering the game. Once this crate was opened, you could not reseal it. So you can only imagine the scarcity of this item. These PUBG sets would sell for $3,000 at its peak. And it was definitely used for a trading currency for the CSGO community. These sets and these cases are nice. There were many more cases released with many more items, but all of them ended up being banned. And this is why. So basically these items were not used for their purpose, which was just trading with friends and selling them and buying them on the Steam market. Instead, they were being sold on OP Skins, which is a third party website where you were able to buy and sell CSGO or PUBG skins. May 3rd of 2018, there was an update message released by PlayerUnknown Battlegrounds, which states, Hey everyone, starting today, we're going to temporarily turn off access to personal trades for PUBG items. Some context. Normally, players can trade items using either the market trade or personal trade features. Market trade lets you sell items through the Steam market system. Personal trade is supposed to allow friends to trade items without any costs attached. Recently though, we've seen a few cases of players using the personal trade function to sell items using third party sites. This is essentially an abuse of the system. To prevent this, we're temporarily turning off personal trades while we search for a better solution. Once we figure a way out to prevent abuse, the restriction will be lifted. And it never did. It never got lifted. Basically, because they disabled the trading feature, there was still a lot of items stuck in these OP skins bot accounts that could never be retrieved again because the feature was never turned on again. To still let users trade their PUBG items that were stuck in these accounts, OP skins came up with a system called OP skins express trade. What this was, was a system outside of Valve that lets you trade items that looked like Valve items, but weren't actually Valve items. They were just a copy of the skins onto a new marketplace system with a valued bound to them. Obviously, this express trade system infringes the rights of Valve 
and OP Skins got a cease and desist letter sent by Valve to take this down and Valve would eventually go on and ban all OP Skins trading bots. Valve announced that they would ban all of the bots by June 21st and they did. They banned a total of 2,880 OP Skins trade bots. So as I said earlier, on June 9th, Valve announced that they will be banning all of the OP Skins trade bots by June 21st. June 9th until June 21st was the time gap for PUBG to decide if they wanted to enable trading again to let their users sell all of the items on the Steam market. And PUBG decided not to do this. And that's basically how all of these items and all of these tradables got lost. The OP skin story is a little bit of a segue, but I think it's super interesting because it is about a lot of money. This sums up the story of how over a billion dollars at the time in items got banned. There will be a link to this Reddit thread in the description down below. And if you want, you can look through all of the items and its quantities that were banned. Over here, we can see that there were 380 player unknown bandanas banned with a average steam price of $276. So the total of those items was over $100,000. 438 player unknown trench coats at $195 a piece. It's like $85,000 in total. 286 high top trainers at $186 a piece. Almost $50,000. There's a huge list. I'll leave a link in the description. Go check it out if you want to. It's definitely super interesting, but that about sums it up for this story. Hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you want to see on the channel and see you guys very soon.